So what? So what's your? Because I know we kind of got off track, but what's like <laughs> your experience been with Dominic's work and how? What what changed? What improved? Uh, what was different? So it's one of like the most impactful things I've ever done. Uh, I always like thought I was like a very logical person that that you know I thought I was like an atheist, and from doing that, and then you know going in. Uh, doing the gate, so that's a um, workshop weekend workshop. It's uh, like the, a network care intensive. Yeah, yeah. The I guy that the guy that created uh, what he does, he runs this. All right, and um, being able to actually experience energy, uh, and then you know, obviously, I'm I'm, I'm taking um, uh, alchemy, so it's actually energetic work. I'm on the third year, uh, and then coupled with like getting work done, just there's always new things opening up, right? Like the, um, it helps you, see how to capture what you do. It's like a very direct way, like it, once you get past the first stage of care where you're just relaxed, it's a very direct way where you start actually connecting the stuff and then it gives you a window or opportunity to start noticing things that maybe you had to go through a traumatic experience to notice. But now you can actually just experience it more in like the, as a part, some, something that's a part of your body or something that's just a energetic experience. And then from there, uh, things like seem to like show up in your life <clears throat> to fill that void, to actually help you grow, heal, transform, whatever it is. It's, so you're saying you have the awareness of it? Yeah. It, it, the, I would say the, NS, uh, and I say the biggest thing is like it, it's an awareness of stuff that like, you know, when a, a fish is in water, you don't realize you're in water, right? But when you get worked on and you start connecting, um, say like a spot in the neck where it's tight and then you notice like the emotion that's associated with it, just having that awareness changes everything. It you know, does. it might not, it might not feel better right away, but the, the experience, uh, really helps you like grow and transform. Now, sometimes you just get worked on, you feel great. I remember like a few times, Actually, a lot of the times, I don't even realize how jacked up I am. I'm like, oh, this is normal, right? And then when you, after you get worked on, you could literally feel like everything's unwinding. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. I didn't realize how shitty I was feeling because I feel way better now. But if I walked in, when I walked in, and someone was like, how are you feeling? I'm doing okay, right? So, like, you don't even realize how tight and wound up you are until you experience a contrast to it. So, it's, it's like so many things, you know. Um, yeah, I'm, like, really grateful for it. So like what, what got better in your relationships, your life, how you approach business? Like what were like the basic things, the basic enhancements to your life because of it? So I had to like generalize it. Um, we play out like narratives, right? So if you have a certain amount of energy or, or uh, 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 you're locked in a perspective, things, maybe the circumstance can kind of change, but they don't really change, right? Because you're still dealing with that same story, right? So like, for example, if you're in business to prove that your self-worth, you might make more money and be more successful, but that narrative is still there. Mm, that's right. Whereas like, as you get worked on, there's an opportunity to actually notice the narrative. And then all of a sudden now, rather than being bound to that narrative, you can actually experience something beyond that and you can transform. I could say that happened in uh, relationships, business, um, uh, even like health, funny enough, it's never something I thought I had to deal with that much. And it, it gives you the opportunity to actually almost like observe something that might be in a blind spot. And then you also like notice like stuff on wine and you feel looser and all that stuff. But from the self development growth standpoint, I would say that's the, that's probably the biggest thing. So as far as the, the growth that you've experienced since you've been under care, how much would you say network care, how, how has network care affected, because you've always been growth oriented, how has network care uh, affected your ability to grow as a, as, a, as a person, grow in business, grow in your playership to this game we call life, this experience? So it's, it's, hard, it's hard to like attribute one thing to something else because when you're doing a bunch of stuff all the time it's like it's hard to 
filter that out and be like, this contributed at this. Um, but I will say like, like it's, it's, it's like very clear to me that it, it had a significant impact on something and it's very, very general, right? So like, rather than like, if I, um, read Corey's book, I'm like, oh, in this area of relationship, I got this shift. It's more like what's beyond that, like something that was shifting beyond that, which will allow me to read his book, which will help me um, shift in my views of relationship. So, so it, so it <clears throat> created a trajectory. It's, it's like you open up the hose for like transformation and growth, you know? Um, and it I'd doesn't, say that's accurate. I like it that. doesn't, it doesn't come the way that you always want to or like, because when you create instability, a lot of times it's uncomfortable. Right. And then like sometimes like six months later, you're like, wow, that was really beneficial. I needed that. But maybe 80% of it you were resisting. Well, I was resisting you. You know, sometimes I walk, I walk in there, I get worked on. I'm like, I didn't want to be aware of this. I mean, something I'm aware of. And then, and then, uh, um, it takes a few months to almost like be able to connect the dots backward and know why that happened. Yeah, life doesn't yeah. give you what you want. Yeah, gives remember, you what you need. I remember one of the first times where it wasn't just feeling relaxed. I got he worked on me, and I started feeling anxiety, and I never feel anxiety, right? But that doesn't mean like because everyone is like has that design to actually feel anxiety. But I was somehow so disconnected from it, I was actually able to connect to it, um, probably for the first time in my life. I'm like, oh my god, like this is what it's like. Because before I was like, just stop being anxious. Like, what's the big deal? You know, but being able to experience that helped move something. And the irony is I just unlocked an area <clears throat> so that it was available. Yeah. And then you were feeling where your physiology is yeah. at all the time. You just disassociated. Yeah. Now, if you're not in a, you're not in a place, right? Like you, if you, and I don't know what the right answer is. If you're not like set up to see it for what it is, you just want to be relaxed and you start feeling anxiety. Like, oh, this is. This is uh, some voodoo um, bullshit, and you just you just quit. And you probably get a lot of people like that. They don't get make it past the first stage because once they start feeling stuff, they just stop going. You know, but when you can appreciate the experience, even experiences that are negative, it's still like necessary. You know, helps you grow. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to. <clears throat> tie it down to like one thing. Um, but I will say way better relationships since I started getting network care, uh, making way more money. Um, physical health. I feel way healthier, even though like I'm not in as good of a shape. Um, I don't work out nearly as much as I did before, but I actually feel like I'm a lot <clears throat> healthier. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. And then way more aware, especially um, uh, energetically. And would you say the the, the benefits didn't plateau? Or, or, or would you say oh, no, plateau? Never, it never plateaus. Are you just, the, the more you come in, the longer you come in, the more that seems to be available. Yeah, because you don't even know what you don't know. You don't even know like like what the unknown is, right? The more you go, like it, it, it's, um, I think most people, like I know like, you know, if you go in there, you're like, oh, I have pain in my neck, right? Like that's whatever your focus is on. And as you grow and explore it, 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 it becomes less about like moving away from problems and more about like fulfilling your potential. And that's like limitless. I just had an example of that today. Okay. I had a woman come in who said she's having problems with her arm yeah. and her shoulder. And she's been doing all this stuff for all these months and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> yeah. And then I worked with her in a way that unlocked that part of her neck and her upper back and just created more peace in that area so that she could experience it rather than try and move away from it. Yeah. And then she said that she just had this emotion come up the more unlocked I got that part of her body, the more emotion. She said, I just feel like this emotion 
and it reminds me of when I was a little girl. So the woman who's on the table is in her mid-60s. Yeah. She said, I have the same feeling now that I haven't felt in forever. She said, I remember being somewhere around the age of four or five, and she said that she adored her father, but her father, she did something wrong or whatever, and the father went up to her like he was going to smack her. And she just went into this, and she said she went into this posture just like this, and it was on her left side. We're all yeah. locked up. Yeah. And she said, I feel like my body is still there. And then as yeah. you worked with me, it started to release. And somehow I started to reconnect. When I first felt that was when I was four or five, whatever it was. And she started telling me more and more about the story. Just had a huge emotional meltdown. And her frozen shoulder and her arm, she, she regained, I'm going to guess, somewhere between 80 to 90% of her range wow. of motion back. Yeah. So network care is not about making you feel good. It's about helping you feel. <clears throat> yeah, I believe. I remember like um, it was one of the time right before I went to that gate uh, when I was coming in. It was like I was having like seizures. Right, and everything was so bound up. And you did something, and uh, it was like uncontrollable like emotions and sounds coming out. And afterwards, Morgan, she was working the front desk at the time. She was like, it sounded like someone was giving birth in there, <laughs> you know, and like, and like, Morgan, you know, like, obviously, like, you know, like, talking to me, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not someone like, that's like, just screaming and very, like, dramatic. You can't help it. So, so in case you haven't picked this up, Kwong, uh, when, you, when you first came in for the first while, was not the most emotionally expressive or emotionally available person, most person. Yeah. I, I did a lot of, there was a lot of uh, concepts of emotions, you know. But not uh, the feeling. Uh, Rather than just like being uh, experience, being with their emotions for what they are, and then as a result of getting care, those emotions became more and more. Yeah, the range. Well, so one, you're uh, one, you actually are aware that that you don't actually have access to a lot of emotions, and then from there, like you can ex expand the range. You know, it's it didn't. It wasn't just like. All of a sudden, it's like oh, like all the emotions are available, right? There's it, there's a it's like up and down shifts over time, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's one of the benefits.